Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show today. I'm talking about Bitcoin because I, I'm, I'm hearing a general, general sentiment from a lot of places that I look on YouTube, in forums, on Reddit, on Twitter, and the general sentiment seems to be that this is like no other bull run we've ever had. Well, it isn't, but I'm only hearing positive reasons why this is such a bull run. For example, people are saying this is no this is this time it's different because there's institutions. This time it's different because we have a lot more retail investors. This time it's different for X, Y, and Z. One thing that I would like to go out on a limb and say is, yes, this time is different, but we can't ignore the fact that for the last year, the whole world has been impacted by the coronavirus. Uh, this has caused a lot of people to become impoverished, uh, lose their savings. So. I think the illusion is here that there are a lot more retail investors in up to their necks uh, than there might be. For example, you know, people might be thinking that, hey, there's a lot more retail investors that, uh, you know, are just absolutely pumping money into Bitcoin uh, now more than ever. And that might be the case with all this stimulus funding and stuff like that coming into play. We never really heard of too many institutions getting into Bitcoin until really this bull cycle. So that's why this bull cycle has also been pumped with trillions of dollars of money from governments all over the world. And so when people are saying this is like no other bull run before, and then you see these charts comparing, uh, you know, 2017 and 18 to 2014 and 15, et cetera, et cetera. Those were somewhat normal uh, cycles. This cycle is not normal in, in the least bit. And what I'm seeing here on a large scale, let's go to a, a three-day chart. Let's go to a three-day chart, folks. You make up your own mind. This isn't financial or trading advice. But let's just look at this. We've got what could be an ending diagonal. And I've brought this up before. You can definitely see we are reaching some significant tops here. In fact, after we reached this top at 61 and a half, we came down to this support level here, and then once we hit the 65, we came back down to the support level. The difference in the candles this time is that all these candles, and this is where this is where hike and ashy candle trading comes into play. And and the next candle on this isn't for another six and a half hours. So if we see another full-bodied candle without a wick on the top up here, uh, we could be in for some hurt, hurting on this three-day chart. And that would indicate a strong downtrend. Typically, when you see uh, some sort of top followed by two solid body candles without wicks on either side in the direction that it's going, uh, that is an indication that there is a strong uh, trend in that direction. So if this was bearish trend, we would see no wicks on these candles here. So pending this second candle, if it forms another one of these, you better, better watch out. I, th I think we may be seeing Bitcoin kind of crack here or go into a heavier consolidation than people are possibly thinking. And for this reasoning is why I am not really in the crypto market at this time because everything tends to follow 
Bitcoin. And what do we have here? We have a nice bull candle followed by a top. And we have the stochastics crossing. So, until I see another doji star or something form here, you know, something similar to this, uh, it followed by two uh, full body candles, I, I don't think that anybody is in a position to say this bull cycle is or is not over at this point in time. That's just my honest opinion, folks. On, on the market right now, I, I do think from at least February to April, we have seen significant euphoria. And, and at some point it has to stop and, and come back down. So I'm just going to go ahead here. And, and let's go ahead and, and try to figure out some, some basic Fibonacci on this. It's going to measure off this point and see where it takes us. So let's say for a second that this does come down and hit 50K and retraces back down to this 50K level. Let's say we see the body of a candle come and rest on this 50K level. Now, for an uptrend to occur, I would need to see a spinning top, a green candle, doji star, uh, followed by two large bodies. That would give me an indication that the market could possibly be heading into an upward trend. The, this, this little sell-off ain't over, uh, as it seems right now, so at least to me. Um, especially with this this rising wedge it's a very bearish pattern reversal pattern um, let's just go ahead and look at this on the one day you can definitely see we've broken through the one or the, the 50 excuse me and and now on the one day chart uh, we have pierced this cloud three times uh, as you can see this has not happened at all for this whole bull run. So we have to consider other things as well. Let's see what this thing's doing on a 12 hour. It's apparent to me that we are seeing some sort of wedge or symmetrical formation happen. Furthermore, we're gonna draw up some Fibonacci time zone. And what do we have? A confirmation tonight, April 21st, we will see Bitcoin either move up or down. Uh, if it moves to the downside, we're heading back to 50K. Uh, we need that confirmation of two, at least two healthy, uh, full-bodied candles on a top like this or like this. Uh, to confirm an upward trend, in my opinion, at this point. Um, otherwise, I think we have a good chance at maybe finding uh, the 200 moving average on the 12-hour chart, April 25th, somewhere in there. Might be a good place to reverse or bounce off the 200, consolidate a little bit more for a further move upwards. Uh, this is just wild speculation, folks. It's not trading advice at all. This is just my honest opinion on what's going on. And I'm seeing these YouTubers pump out these charts uh, under the assumption that the last two spikes in 14 and 17 and 18, and even 19 for that matter, are all on the same level as far as econ world economies, things like that. All I'm saying, there's a lot of broke people in 2020 that probably threw everything they had into Bitcoin. Uh, they're definitely going to take profits. I, I mean, I don't know. I'm not going to talk much more about this because there's not really much else to say. I just wanted to make this video to uh, 
to maybe see the other side uh, of what's going on. You know, it, it's an old saying that Warren Buffett had, and it's true. Uh, you know, we got to be fearful when other people are being greedy. Uh, right now, I'm seeing a bunch of greedy YouTubers pumping their subscribers up for failure. Uh, you know, when in my opinion, uh, you know, we at this point in time, we cannot really concretely uh, maybe predict uh, the next movement it's going to make. And if this thing does move down, said from here look at this the last time we were in a position like this was back in march stochastics were almost the same you know they're very similar uh, same with over here uh, there is room to move down and i wouldn't be surprised to see this come down and hit the 50k mark so you heard you heard it here first and if you don't like this ta uh, you might want to go uh, find some other youtuber uh, that's going to sit around and bullshit you but if you like this TA, go ahead and subscribe. It's free. Like the video, please. It definitely encourages me to do more videos uh, in the future. So good luck to everyone. This analysis isn't meant to scare anybody or influence anybody's trade. I'm just stating the obvious. Currently, I hold no Bitcoin. I have no plans on getting into Bitcoin uh at this point in time i'm waiting till the next bear market to enter bitcoin so there you have it folks you heard it here and i hope you guys have a great day thank you all for being here